This next activity will illustrate a food chain. Ideally, you'd want to have your students standing in a circle holding different pictures. Since we don't have students today, we've posted some of these pictures for you on the board. Remind your students that all food chains begin with the sunlight. The sun provides the energy that drives all the food chains on our earth. The sunlight is utilized by producers, plants. The producers take that energy and put it in a form that can be then be used by animals, consumers. That energy gets passed from the producer to the primary consumers. Then other consumers can also utilize that energy as it works its way along the food chain. Have one of your students hold the ball of yarn. They will represent the sun. The sun is responsible for plants growing. The plant in turn can be eaten by an organism such as a tadpole. The tadpole can be eaten by a small fish. The small fish would be eaten by a snake. The snake could be eaten by an alligator. A second food chain could be uh, found in the same ecosystem where the sun would be responsible for small plants growing that could be eaten by a snail. The snail would be eaten by a frog. The frog could be eaten by the alligator. Notice how the chains overlap and we form a food web.